you, let's uncover this Satan puzzle. Look at me, everybody. Why is Satan desperate to destroy man? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Why wouldn't it, there are people who used to say, why wouldn't the devil let me go? Let me go now, eh? Let my family go. The devil said, you have not seen anything yet. If you know what I suffered before you were born, you do, I don't plan to leave you until I... See, many of you don't know how old Satan is. Satan tried Moses. He tried everybody. He didn't leave them. They forced him to leave them. So you, you just come in the middle of history and believe because you just said, oh, I'm born again. The devil said, okay, let's concentrate on others. You think so? The angrier he gets, he gets angry by the day because his time is short. He's more determined over our generation than any other generation. Listen, I want to tell you something. From the 70s down to the 90s, Satan had been plotting a dangerous arsenal against the American church. He deceived them into believing that when you are born again, that's all. They taught it and they transferred it to us. Look at what is happening to America now because of that gospel. Who would have known that a man would look at another man and wants to sleep with him? Even a preacher. Look at it was happening behind the scene while they were just telling themselves everything is okay. The devil is saying, time, I am patient. I can be patient for a whole generation. He kept mapping his strategy. Right now, they are removing the commandments. They are doing everything. People are occupying positions and he's coming to Africa softly and God is raising people. Say, Joshua Selman, arise. You are this horn and koinonia, arise. Yes, because if we keep allowing this incomplete gospel to fool us one day a day will come catastrophe will happen again in nigeria maybe we'll start sleeping with animals but there are carpenters that will not bow look at what has happened to america brothers and sisters this was a place i was discussing with somebody i said where are the people who carry the mantles of smith wigglesworth where are they they were do you know satan made sure a generation did not take the mantle while these guys were preaching, Satan was busy taking. He started destroying these people from a tender age. And right now, Cartoon Network, all of these many networks, I'm not saying they are bad, but I'm saying there is another conspiracy to destroy young people. Satan can be patient even if he's 50 years. Right now, they will show sex in a cartoon and do something, something that was for entertainment and children are watching and the parents say they are small. Hold on. Very soon, you will see them get up one day and you will see the drama that begins to happen. You will see police with your son. Where is he coming from? He went to sleep with somebody. They say, oh yeah, let's go to the prison. That's when you will know that there is drama. You say, you? 12 years. 12 years. What do you know about this? They say, I watched it somewhere. Or you catch, look at all the people that are terrorizing the country. Which old man has the strength to carry God? Who doesn't like his life like that in his old age? After suffering, he wants to enjoy the remaining one decade or two de decades. Young people. Because, I'm sorry to say this and I have a lot of honor for our father. But their eyes are becoming dim like Elisha. And, and like Eli. And it's money that is making that eyes become dim. So they are concentrating on building a lot of empires. And therefore, right now, many churches do not have respect for the youth. There are many churches that don't even have provision for Sunday school again. Is that true? And they think it is not necessary. Young people in many churches don't have a place again. The elders come with their philosophy. This little boy now, no provision for him. So he will get up with a godless mindset. They just leave them to be playing outside. As if demons cannot enter them. When you say anything, they say, please, don't be fanatical. It's children. Until the day the child says, I am the one that tied the father's head. The, the father will look at the child. Six years old, he say, yes, I'm the one that tied your head. This is what is happening around. This is what is happening around. Don't laugh. I counsel people all the time. The whole world lies in wickedness. Wake up tonight. The weapons of our warfare is a deceiver, the arch enemy of the church. Let me round up quickly by telling us what the agenda of Satan is. Satan is very visionary. He's not just trying to chase people up and down. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to tell you something. 
the devil is not interested in frivolities there is a reason why he wants to get people down three reasons number one satan is on a revenge mission you must understand this everybody say a revenge mission have you watched films that they came and destroyed the actors people and they thought they were dead and the actors say i must revenge all these chinese films satan is on his own chinese film he has been doing it since and he will not give up this you see this story we just read in revelation that thing stung the ego of satan god didn't even fight it was michael that arranged him they sent him to the earth and satan had been angry now guess what what was satan's annoyance listen satan was the value cherub that covereth are you getting me because the angels of god excel in strength why do they excel in strength because they are standing in the presence of god and because god is ever changing they are a reflection of his ever changing nature so satan being the closest cherub to god got to a point where he was an embodiment of all even other angels listen satan had the power to discipline other angels that's what the lake of fire was created for the, i've told you this the lake of fire is not hell remember i proved to you from scripture that hell death and the grave will be cast into the lake of fire the lake of fire is part of god's kingdom it had been there it had been there there's no time I would have shown you from the word of God. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Oh, it has been there. Yes. They are not just creating it. They are finished sins. That was the reason why when Satan conspired and he was, what did he want? He wanted to exalt himself and carry the nature of God. He had the likeness of God. The angels have the likeness of God. That's why they excel in strength. The brightness of his glory. Are you getting me god has two hands angels have two hands not three are you getting me if you see one with three be careful be very careful hallelujah so that's his likeness but satan wanted the image of god that quality that can make him to begin to legislate like god and god said uh -uh, you have gone too far and he cast him down and guess what he created man and now gave man the prayer request of satan you get the point God now gave us that. Satan was watching. When God said, let them have dominion. Satan said, what? This is what you threw me down for. It's unfair. It, that's why occultic tell you that God was unfair to Satan. This is the unfairness. They say, how can God refuse to? He punished Satan for wanting something and gave man who did not ask for it. That's why I say, what manner of love? satan said no way this is a mockery to my personality god will mold clay you know how angels were made angels were not made from sand angels were made how many of you have seen lightning lightning that is the material of their creation the least angel was made from that light so satan watched god mold clay he weaks he uses the weak things are you getting me now so he used clay and put his image and satan said come on no no way we are going to fight against this so that anger is what satan still has towards you you gave your life to christ and you believe satan is your friend now with all this story i've told you do you think he wants to leave you hallelujah this is that old story so satan came to adam listen why did he come to adam he came to adam because he saw god giving him the keys god gave him the keys and he knew that through reproduction he was going to reproduce people after his kind 
who are after the kind of God and they will intimidate Satan again. Satan cannot stand seeing people with the image of God. They, how many of you, let me, let's, let's be very honest. Brothers will understand this. Brother, you like a particular lady. You don't know what to do about it. The thing is eating you. Then somebody that you feel is not up to you will just come and meet her and then the lady will be dying for the person. You get that pain, multiply it times infinity. That's what Satan is feeling today. Because the church is the bride of Christ. You see that pain. So every time I stand, mortal clay, I say, let it be. And it becomes, Satan is annoyed. How can... He said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Did you not see angels that you could make men? What is man that thou art mindful of him? Not the son of man that thou visitest him some age. He said, you have made him a little lower than Elohim. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. This is how special you are. If you understand this, you will not let any man drag your life in a mud. It took God a lot to make you what you are. That's a permanent cure for inferiority. Just see the efforts God made to birth you. See how many angels would have taken your place. They all stood hoping and God said, I have another plan. It's not one of you. He started molding clay and breathed into that clay and called it Adam. Even when man fell, God went out of his way to start pursuing man. It pains Satan again. Ha! I fell once. You punish me. Man has fallen many times. You are still looking for him. This is injustice. You see it? You see what pains Satan? So he came and met Joshua the high priest and said, God, I'm coming to accuse. This guy is a priest. He's coming. You punish me for falling. Now look at this man. And God said, I just love him. case close i am god i can veto anything jacob have i loved Esau have i hated why will i not love him with all my heart this is not an issue of psyching you you let aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign forever and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and i am yours Forever and ever, I will love you. You are the only one who died for me, who gave your life to set me free. And so I lift my voice to you in adoration. Listen, if you Stop loving God because he didn't give you husband. You are a wicked person. Look at what he went through. And will he not give you prosperity or ministry? You see why God gets angry when men stop trusting him. He says you are ungrateful people. Look at what I did to you. Only because the breakthrough did not come. Now you are backsliding. That's why I love him with my life money or no money ministry or no ministry he has already done too much too much
listen if god called one of the angels and gave him his image he is still god how many, look at how many times people fail god and it's not like we went and we were repentant he was the one chasing us and begging this thing this thing is still paining satan till tomorrow why will god leave his throne let me tell you when satan saw jesus becoming a baby he knew that this was the height of in quote stupidity of god not only did god chase man through the prophets now the word became flesh came and entered the womb of a woman was patient for 30 years men insulted him that's why he came to jesus and said i am concerned about your humiliation take the keys just bow to me and god said no that's why the bible says wherefore god so highly god was so impressed by the humility of jesus look at all the stars he created yet he degraded there are cadres in the realm of the spirit he became lower than the seraphs lower than that's why see to an extent the bible says after his fasting and prayer angels came and ministered to him they were consoling their maker what humility so satan is on a revenge mission there is anger and annoyance that's why he will not leave your family that's why he will keep deceiving preachers to tell people everything is all right just shake your body and feel nice let me tell you the truth get out i'm not saying be angry or criticize any man of god <laughs> but the moment you do that satan start taking a breath of fresh air and says please continue if you need money for this kind of ministry i'll keep giving you money that's why some people get money without praying they think it's god that is giving it satan is saying camp at this level if it's, if money will make you not to pray take the money stop praying just be enjoying the money let me continue dealing with other people but there are some people that have determined money or no money it can't stop our prayer every day we will shake the gates they must hear this sound we must register our presence prosperity or no prosperity whether my family needs help or not is a sign i'm just letting satan know hello good morning ambassadors are still alive hey. hallelujah the second reason listen is because there is something called the written judgment judgment that has been written for satan i hope you know that nobody can pray it we cannot gather now and say god forgive satan please uh, it is written are you getting me now so satan believes listen satan knows he's going to the lake of fire i hope you know that he has deceived the demonic realm to believe that he will overthrow mankind listen and except the army rise it looks like it's possible because when you see the way satan is possessing and oppressing families it looks like there is no hope so satan keeps convincing the demons and say if we continue a day will come we will destroy mankind and god will do another strategy and this lake of fire agenda might be cancelled are you getting it now because for as long as the church does not rise jesus cannot come i hope you know that yeah the coming of jesus is not a mystery please don't i have shown you i have shown you jesus is not coming like a thief in the night to the church brothers and sisters first thessalonians 5 please very quickly first thessalonians 5 let's just settle this in once and for all i've told you he's coming like a thief in the night the bible says that the question is to who not to the church how can he love us so much and come like a thief in the night to us? Who is he afraid of that is coming like a thief? Let's look at it. See, a lot of theology that we got, we believe them, we are convinced. Everybody, look up, I'll start reading. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write to you. Verse 2. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh like a thief in the night this is where many of our theologians stop is that true but there is more read on 
For when they, who are the they? Not us. When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. If you love God and you believe in his word, read verse 4, one to go. Is it not in your Bible? Is that not it? He said, but ye, brethren, he has spoken about they, the foolish virgins who are outside. Now he's saying, ye, brethren, you are not in darkness. So why should it come in the night? He says that that day should overtake you like a thief. Is it not the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come? The world does not just come. The spirit koinonia in partnership it is the church in partnership with the holy spirit who say we have conquered the systems king of kings come and behold the works of your bride and he will come and come and harvest a church without spot or wrinkle so it is because we are in the end times that god is releasing apostolic and prophetic graces to accelerate the advancement of the kingdom there are souls to be won. A lot of people who are saying Jesus is coming, they don't have a passion for God. It is true, don't get me wrong. Jesus is really coming soon. Very, very soon. That's why he puts an urgency upon us. That's why we are launching things like Project 10,000 to make sure that we can push this gospel. That's why we are sending all our messages free. We don't have time to look for money right now. There is an urgency on the ground. Why do we do all of these things? If we are looking for a name, can't we just write books and be receiving royalties? We are smart enough to do research. All the messages we have preached, if we change it into books and just balance and be receiving royalty, at least one of them will be a bestseller. Don't you think so? So what puts this fire? What makes you leave your house and come and sit down? and other people do not understand you are a savior to them and they are now criticizing you don't be afraid you are the savior that will arise whenever people talk and say you serve don't know uh -uh. you have the, another spirit is the spirit of christ don't just come because you want a husband or because you want a wife we we dedicate miracle service for that but there is an urgency there is a curriculum of the spirit we must cover on time hallelujah let me tell you satan hates this meeting beyond your imagination never make mistakes if you see people coming like this it is because he cannot stop them it's not that he doesn't want to he cannot because keys have been given to us and our job is to threaten him i my life's goal among the numerous goal is to give satan heart attack before Jesus comes to take me home I'm not sure I may die before he comes because he's coming really soon hallelujah when we do everything we we'll salute the earth and check out and say Toh, we have tried those who didn't listen to us I'm leaving my bible you can get it in Zaria and we'll check out we will in case all you are doing is amassing wealth and amassing everything if it is not for the kingdom i have a rude shock for you you may not live to enjoy it because we will be going that's when you will see the vanity of life so the bible says live for yourself treasures in heaven why are you i'm not against a life of comfort hallelujah but let your concentration be on the things of god so satan deceives us husband and wife i'm not against marriage again and all of these things Oh, job, I don't have a job. God, I will backslide. And God is saying, after all I've done, oh, yeah, backslide. Now it's your own fault. And the devil is saying, please, go ahead, backslide. I will supply you the grace, the bad friends, all the arsenals you need to quickly backslide. That's why you can download any junk, junk in the internet. Because the devil wants to accelerate your backsliding. And then, we the men of God, Satan keeps making us sleep. And all that we are concerned doing is criticizing people and saying what God didn't call us to do. Hallelujah. Whereas we should concentrate on building the kingdom. 
we are here arguing about frivolities arguing about is it right to wear kaftan on stage or is it right to wear this all of those things the devil is saying continue i beg you any opportunity to distract the church the devil is saying this is what i want so the man of god now has a lot of money they give him a lot of jeep he said my soul find rest no prayer no study no anything and the person is happy and he says, I, I run a ministry of so, so, so number of people and uh, I'm very fulfilled. The devil said, thank you. More of this. More of this. But when Satan finds people who, when God blesses them, it doesn't change it. The devil said, how do we throw these people down? See, the devil is thinking out. While you are sleeping, he's not sleeping. They are just meeting and saying, for God's sake, how are we going to put Aaron down? As in the middle of the discussion, then you wake up. Kapota kabaya da baba. You just felt like ventilating your spirit by one o'clock in the night. Rekete kete. Abata katobari ata. Rakataba. And you are shaking the car keys. Meaning it does not matter. The car keys didn't change anything. Rise up on your feet. Let's close. Come on. Let's begin to pray in the spirit. Shekete kete baradaba katabrakata. We have a passion, passion to see his kingdom come. Pray. Say, Lord, to see your kingdom come is my desire to be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Your prayer is an internal investment for yourself, for your family, for your church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three prayer points and we're out of here. Number one is a prayer of gratitude. You're going to say, Lord, I never saw your love in this light now i know you care about me how can i kill myself suicide what for Say, Lord, I thank you for your love. So thank you for your love. In spite of myself, in spite of my limitations, in spite of my shortcomings, thank you, thank you for loving me enough to seek me oh yes thank you because you are not a man thank you because you are not a religious person hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you're going to say lord i receive grace to contribute in whatever way that will show you that I love you and I'm interested in your agenda. Whatever way, by casting out devils, by financing the kingdom, by getting men saved, by getting them filled with the Holy Ghost, by praying for preachers, by praying for pastors, by not gossiping about people, whatever contribution, no matter how little, I receive grace, grace, Listen, brothers and sisters, can I tell you something? Look at me. Do you know how desperate Jesus is to see his kingdom come? To see souls saved? No matter how little you contribute, 
you will hear him telling you thank you i know not everybody is interested you're going to pray and say every demonic hold that attempts to shift me away from the things of god lukewarm spirit bad friends bad association be far from my life open your mouth and pray I am committed to see your kingdom come with my finances, with my anointing, with my voice. You have given your best. I will give my best. Hallelujah. Why should I not put a gospel ringtone? Why should I put junk music in my phone? Why should I be afraid to wear a shirt that says I'm a kingdom addict? Why should I be ashamed to preach Jesus Christ? Because the lady is fine? Or because the guy is handsome? Or I don't want to be embarrassed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take it down again. Hallelujah. Next week I'm going to teach you a song. This song came while I was in Kaduna. You gave your everything. I give my everything. You gave your everything. So I give my everything Take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Take all of me All of me, Lord You have my everything Listen, it's a simple song You have my everything You have my everything Lord, you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Let's try one more time. You have my everything. 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 You have my Take all of me. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Hallelujah. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Everybody, please stand if you're sitting, stand except if you're kneeling. As we sing this song, you know that you have never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care who you are. This is a serious business. Please, we are not playing. Or if you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing, Jesus welcomes you tonight. We want to recruit you as a matter of urgency so that you can participate in this building. There is an urgency. Christ is coming. There is an army that must be raised. Brothers and sisters, this is a program. This is an agenda that God is doing. There's no time to waste. Now is the time you will tell the world goodbye. You will tell the flesh goodbye. And you will make a real decision. So as I lift up my voice and as we sing this song, 
I want you inside and outside. No matter how far you have been away from God, no man condemns you. Only men condemn. God welcomes you. Come as you are. And God will make you a brand new person. Hallelujah. Now begin to come. God bless you. You have my everything. God bless you. Appreciate them. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. on the devil you tonight because you are going to come forget about your you friends forget about your friends you have my welcome everything. to your place of destiny they call of me all of me lord you have it doesn't matter everything. how far you have gone they call it doesn't matter me, how far me. you can start you tonight have you have my everything those of you in front i like you to lift your hands and begin to talk to the lord some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears let it flow it's an indication of genuine repentance all of us in the congregation go ahead this is an agenda that is so key to god don't worry, just bring her. You can just bring her and keep her. Take all of me. Please pray for the people here. It's a mighty army. Take all of me. Take all of me, Lord. Hallelujah.